Hello, Alan here. Today's pro tip of the day is we're going to put a hole, or some holes, in the back of this unit because um, the client wants to bring a lead in and then have um, satellite boxes and game consoles and so on. So it's something we do quite a lot. This particular cupboard has, has two compartments separated by a board. So we're going to put holes in both sides because I'm going to mark the top of this shelf. And I'm going to move the shelf so I, so I know that the top of the hole has to be above the height of the shelf. Does that make sense? So when the cable comes in, it will come in and you'll be able to have cables in above this, this this shelf and below the shelf so the hole if that's the hole that's the shelf so there's space above and below the shelf I would normally use a smaller hole saw than this but because I need the hole to bridge above and below the shelf I'm going to use a bigger bigger hole saw and because it's a big hole saw I'm going to use a power drill rather than the cordless drill. I'm going to allow the, the teeth of the hole saw to half wear through the backboard gently so as not to, to rip the plywood apart. Then I'm going to go to the other side, put the drill bit in the hole that I've created and using the, the teeth of the hole saw, gently wear the rest of the hole. So I'm not going to plunge this through energetically or so what, I'm, so what I'm going to do is, is what I don't want to do is, is force the, the whole saw through too aggressively. Let me show you. Okay, let me bring you in. Can you see how neat and tidy the half hole is? Now at the back of the unit, this is the hole we've drilled right the way through. So I'm going to center the hole saw drill bit in this hole. Then I'm going to gently wear the hole. So with no tidying up at all, can you see how neat the hole is? And how the plywood isn't smashed all around it? So, can you, can you see? You have this shelf in its, in its most useful central position. You have a substantial hole above to run cables through. And you have a substantial hole underneath to run cables through. So that's how we get the very best quality hole we can in the, in the back of a unit. The tools and materials that I've used are readily available online, but if it's a help, I've left links in the description to Amazon, which might help you find them. Well, I hope that's been useful and informative. Thank you very much for watching.